So, I'm assuming you taught her to sit through luring. Yes. I don't lure after about 12 weeks old. Because, and you may not watch your butt camera all the time. Okay. Um, because any dog over 12 weeks old is smart enough to know they are not sitting because you told them to sit. They're sitting so they can get the treat. Right. And if you don't, and so by sitting, they're telling you to feed them. So they're in charge. And if you don't have the treat, what's the point of telling you to feed me if you don't have food to give me? So instead, she knows what sit means. She just learns it's situational. So, hi, sweetie. We're going to put, I'll let you know she goes out of her. Put the collar up high on her neck, right under her chin, behind her ears. Okay, so now once you tell her sit, you're going to gently but firmly pull up. And she's probably going to throw a temper tantrum. So the dog that just left bucked and reared like a horse. Because they're saying, no, you're not in charge, I am. So you're going to gently but firmly pull up. You're forcing her chin up, okay. and it's more comfortable to sit than to stand. So go ahead and tell her sit. Sit. And now pull straight up. Don't pull back, just straight up until she gives in. Sit. And don't repeat it, because you're teaching her to ignore that first command you're whipping out. You're okay, sweetie. It's all right. It's okay. And I sweet talk them, let them know they're not in. Yes for you. That's okay. It was only momentarily, but that was okay. So you saw... If she's not going to give in, I'm not going to give in. I'm just going to keep pulling. Go ahead and tell her sit again. Sit. Don't jerk her. Just sit. Don't repeat it. Good. Give her a trick. Here, here you go. Go early. Right there. Right there. Okay, so you tell them once. Especially when you're in a position to back it up. Tell them once and make them do it. If you tell them twice, well, now you may tell them a third time. And then they're going to go, she only told me seven. I can wait three more before she really gets mad. And now they're off the leash and heading towards the street, and you're in deep doo doo because they know they don't have to respond the first time. So you always, always, always in training back it up. When they're loose and their safety depends on it, there are no rules. You stand on your head, you do cartwheels, you do whatever you have to do. But when you can back it up, and you have to so first put the treat away, that's instead of prepaying. Prepaying, yes. Yes, you're going to after she does the job and just like if you had a second grader sitting at the table doing homework you're not going to hold that ice cream under the nose and say this is what you get if you get if you do your work you're going to wait until he does his homework then you're going to say oh let's go to Dairy Queen right and so you're distracting her I mean that kid cannot do three plus two if you have that ice cream under his nose and then he's going to say it's dripping I'm missing out and that's what she's doing Okay, so now go ahead and tell her sit. Sit. And keep pulling. Keep pulling. You're okay. She's good girly. Now yes. give her the treat. Good That's girly. Right. Yes. Good girly. Yes. So you want that yes to be as her butt hits the ground, not when you feed her. Okay. Because if you give it to her when you feed her, you're telling her eating is what I like you to do. Yes. All right. So go ahead and loosen up. There you go. Good. Now, I don't say, I don't give a release word. My dogs sit until I tell them something else. So if I'm not trained, then I'll say free your own kid. Because you're done. I'm not going to tell you anything more. So you can do what you want is what that means. But since you're going to tell her to sit again, she can't do what she wants. So that's what the free means. Um, if I want her to walk, it's like, okay, let's go. Or walk, or whatever you want your word to be. But... Just like in competition obedience, I lead my dog, tell him stay, go to the end of the ring, and on the judge's signal, I call my dog to come across the ring, 50 feet. I'm not allowed to say free or okay. My dog is sitting until I give my dog another command. At the open level, you have what's called a drop on recall. So I call my dog, and when the judge signals, I tell my dog down. My dog comes until I give her another command, and it's the damn, and then I call her again. So I don't say okay or free to call her the second time. It's just you do what I tell you until I do you the next step. Okay. All right, so now you're going to say sit before you pull up because you're pulling up because she won't sit. Gotcha. All right, so go ahead and tell her. Sit. Roxy, sit. Only once. Pull up. Pull up. Don't wait. And you're doing okay. A little bit 
harder. If she could wake you out, then you're not doing it hard enough. You're alright. That's just temper tantrum. You're okay, baby. Good yes. girl. Yes. Perfect. Now, and then loosen up when she's sitting so she's coming. Okay. Good. So you want... You want a fairly neutral tone or conversational tone to when you tell her. Because you always want to save that firmness or harshness for when she's loose and you can't back it up. She will respond when she's free and excited to the tone you train her in plus harsher. So if you train fairly harsh, now you're going to have to make all the neighbors look out the window and say, what are you doing when she's free and she won't listen. So... What I do when I was, um, I was a 4-H leader for, 40, for 25 years. A what leader? 4-H. So okay. for kids. Um, and they always sit. Sit. And so I had to start telling them, your dog isn't bad. Your dog just doesn't know yet. And let's not be that forceful. Let's ask them. So sit, please. Well, when they put the please on it, that softened their tone a thousand percent. So, and you don't have to do that, but it's just, they will respond to the tone you train them in plus harsher. Okay, go ahead and tell her, sit. Roxy, sit. And now pull straight up. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. 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 Good, yes. So now don't wait to pull up. You know, if you're saying her name first, and you don't have to say her name. The name is an attention getter. So if she's loose and running away from you, you absolutely say her name. But Fluffy isn't here and Snowball isn't here, so it's okay if you just tell her sit. She knows you're not talking to anybody else. Right? Get it, look, get it. What is that? Get it. Good girly. Okay, go ahead and tell her sit. Sit. And then straight up. Good girly, good girly. Yes. And again, try not to wait so long to pull up. Okay. By the time that tea is out of your mouth, you know that she is or isn't going to respond. Okay, ready? Look at get it. Get it. There it is. Look. Check it out. Yes, good girl. Okay, go ahead and tell her. Sit. Perfect tone. Yes. Good girly. And then another one. There you go. Yes, for you. Good girl. Okay. Walk her around for a couple minutes because she built up a lot of stress doing that.